All right, so today's the day. I'm off to pick up the Massey Ferguson 4707 up at Ocala Tractor, and I'm super excited. It has probably been, I don't know, four or five weeks since I originally placed the order. Uh, the guys were able to do everything for me uh, remotely, which was great, sign paperwork, uh, those types of things. So uh, I only sat in the tractor for a few minutes after doing some research online. It was decided that you know that was a good fit for me. and. Um, you know, you buy a tractor, you marry your dealer, and uh, the dealer's close enough for me to get service, and they do field service uh, work as well across the Ocala, Central Florida area. So uh, it's a primary reason for going with the guys. The other thing that uh, they did for me was they never squawked about a customization that I wanted, and I'm not gonna tell you what that is. I'll show that to you later in the video, but it's pretty significant one-off customization. I really think it's a product that they can sell to others in the future, so hopefully this is the beginning of something good for them, and I get exactly what I want as well. So i uh, got about a 80-mile drive, and I'll be there, and we'll pick back up, and we'll go from there. Have you sold any of these before? The Bama Lights? No. It may be the only one in the state. Everybody that sees it, everybody that's walked by comes over and checks it out. They're like, that's the man. <laughs> I hope it cuts as well as it, as much as it, you know, costs. Oh, it should. You should be happy. Bama Light makes quality stuff. I like Bama Light. Yeah. So here we are in the Massey Ferguson 4707 heading back to the property. Uh, just traded out the RK55 for this much bigger, more powerful tractor. Uh, got a lot to learn. Uh, all the controls are different. The size is way different. Behind me, I've got the uh, Bama Light, which isn't so light at about 1,900 pounds. Uh, brush cutter back there. So I'm excited to get that, get that into use. But uh, right now I'm just going to make my way back to camp and then I'm going to pull up a chair, sit under the tree, open the manual, start doing some reading and then uh, I'm going to fire this bomb of light up and start running over some stuff and see how bad it really is. But uh, so far, pretty awesome.
So this performed as anybody would have hoped. Looks like this spun around. I think from watching the videos, you can see that uh, it was not taking it easy on its first day. So uh, here we go. So what's, uh, what's my conclusion after day one, four hours, five hours in the Massey Ferguson 4707 uh, Global Series? Pretty awesome. I was a little worried at, at the start. I was going to be, uh, it's a little intimidating switching from a machine the size that I'm used to all the way up to uh, something of this magnitude. And yeah, looks like a wire there need to get straightened out. But uh, so, uh, you know, more power, a lot bigger, uh, you know, when you're going between trees and things of that nature. So that's a, a big change. But the, uh, the bottom of light, I think, if you watch the video, uh, this thing's pretty, pretty cool. Now, I've seen the brown tree cutter, and I have not run one, but uh, there's pros and cons to each one from what I can see already. And uh, the tail wheel on the brown tree cutter allows the uh, machine to go up and down, uh, but the tail wheel gets in the way. So with this, you can back over a lot of that stuff, and it all gets taken care of. So um, let's see. So for today, that's it. I'm heading home, and then tomorrow I start uh, actually my first, um, you know, side gig to help pay for the tractor and uh, have some fun cutting some brush for a neighbor. So uh, take care. Like this, hit the like and subscribe button if you like the content. Thank you. Bye bye.